Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is Tanya at Sidekick Crafts. I'm so, so glad you're here. You guys, let's get a little beachy today. I have a fun guest today. This is a very, very fun thing I'm going to do. So here is, I have been wanting to do this project for a long, long time. Sorry, I'm putting my hair up, you guys. I apologize. I've been wanting to do this project for a long time. You know, I've been working on my seashore journal and getting all the things together, making the pages, having some fun with it. You guys, I have got some pictures in my bathroom. They've been hanging on the wall. How long have I lived here? For about eight years, if not longer, because they might have been in the frame actually from a previous home. So look at this. These are my special guests. You guys, look at these pictures. Can you see them? Let me check my camera. Look at this picture. These are my family and I'm not sure who's who here but these are taken in Cayucas this was a set this is my grandfather as a child I know because it tells me so John T. Suderman under the hat that's my grandpa this man lived to be 104 and I'm sure it's because he was you know careful about not getting sun on his face <laughs> which is actually kind of funny. It's not funny. He would have, um, he actually did get cancer spots. He was a farmer, so he got cancer spots on his, on his face. He wore a hat all the time, but anyways, <laughs> this is him. And this is one of his little relatives. I'm not sure. Um, that's Edwin Teeson. That actually might be, <gasps> that's Uncle Eddie. I think, well, yeah, well, I'm assuming because that would be his brother. I don't know, if somebody in my family, if you're watching this, correct me if I'm wrong. But that's kind of a cool picture, isn't it? Isn't that cute? I love, absolutely love that picture. You know what? That is wrong. That can't be right. Decent John T. Suderman. Under hat. I don't think that's right, you guys. I think that might be a she who's pregnant. That might be his mom. I don't know, but that's what it says. I guess I should just go with it and not argue. <laughs> Here's some family laying out on the beach. It's really hard to see the pictures. It really is. And then they're playing in the water. Isn't that cute? Anyways, regardless of who they are, I'm putting them in my journal. I made copies of them. I love them. Um, and the reason why I'm curious is because I think this is, I really think this is my grandmother's handwriting. So, um, I know that's, uh, it's hard to say. Anyway, I'm remembering their handwriting, but I can't remember whose is whose. Okay, I'm going to put these aside because we, I made copies. And we're going to play with the copies today and get them put into this journal in a fun way. Because I think they belong there, don't they? Aren't they great? You guys, these are amazing photos. This one's upside down. Um, I absolutely adore these pictures. I am so thankful I have them. I actually have bags of old photos from my family that I've been wanting to go through. And I haven't yet. So that's on my to-do list. Because I'd love to find some and scan them for, you know, using all the time. And there we go. Yeah, that says that's my grandpa. But the more I look at it, because I've always been interested in what this belly is about. You know, this big old belly. But... That looks like a woman to me, if I look really, really carefully. It can't be, though. It has to be. It has to be, Grandpa. It has to be, can't be a woman. The sleeves are cut way down the sides, and that's just too provocative. It's got to be. It's got to be, Grandpa. It's got to be. That's what the picture says. So we're just going to go with it. Now I'm really going to wonder. <laughs> I've been taking these pictures down for so long and inspected them. But we're going to make them a part of this journal. 
I truly believe that's where they belong. Not the originals, of course. But we're going to make these look pretty realistic. I've actually photocopied them on, um, on cardstock. And I'm thinking we're going to just distress them up and maybe put some acetate over them. Like they were slipped into a little uh, photo thing. I can't think and cut at the same time, apparently, or speak and cut. So that's my special guest for the day. Yep, Grandpa. Grandpa lived, like I said, Grandpa lived to be 104. He was something else. <laughs> he lived through a lot, I tell you what. Um, yeah, he lived through a lot in his very long life. All right, so there's, I did these in color, so you'll see some brown in there. I did that because I wanted to make sure I got some of that, uh, that color of the aging in there. But we are gonna age them up and distress them even more. So, remind me that that, uh, that glue, that pff, my hot glue gun has been on for all week, you guys. I have not shut it off. and not good. I really need to remember to do that. I should be shutting that off after every time, every session. But I have not. The good thing is it doesn't leak. It doesn't leak. It's been sitting there for two days and it hasn't leaked. It's kind of stuck to a couple things. But other than that, there's no damage done. I bet you can't say that about all glue guns, huh? That was an old one too. I haven't bought a new glue gun forever. Now I kind of want to um, mutilate these just a little bit. So I'm gonna kind of tear it and mess with it. I want them to look like they've really been handled. So we're gonna just kind of roll them and play with them and there we go really kind of beat them up a little bit we're gonna get them wet we're gonna great you guys I have been seriously been wanting to do this for a long time I haven't been I just haven't taken that picture frame down every time I think about it I I'm not at home or busy or have a plan and I thought you know what this is the first video I'm gonna make today I still need to make my cards today I I said I would do that and so I'm gonna make my cards today but I wanted to do something different first Just something a little different. We're just gonna tear that page, that piece off. I love how cute they are in the water. They're holding on to each other, <laughs> like she's scared. <laughs> so fun. Now, when Grandpa was little, this would have been a really big trip for them because they lived, he was telling me they had horse and buggies. So they lived in the middle of California and um, that would have been, well, I mean, it's a four hour car drive. So I don't know, I'm sure this is probably after cars. I mean, his shirt doesn't look, this little guy's shirt. I don't know, but um, it would have been a lot to get their family out there. They didn't have a lot of money. They were farmers. So this would have been a big deal. I think it's super sweet.
Now, I'm not saying they took their horse and buggy. I'm just saying that this would have been a big trip for them. Because this was probably after horse and buggy. I don't know when this was. Let's see. if Because I'm debating if that's Grandpa. He'd have to be a teen there, if that's the case. Because this guy looks like he's maybe five or six. So he'd have to be a teen. I'm not sure. I have to do some math, see if I can figure it out. I don't think there's a date on those photos. There's a 16. I don't think that really means anything. It is Cayucas. Not sure. It's hard to tell from their clothing. Well, she's wearing a skirt in the water. See how covered up she is. Very conservative family, so... That can't be, it can't be a female in that tank top, is what I'm saying. Because that wouldn't have happened. I'll just get these edges. I'm going to have to dig through my box to see what others... You know, I have a different view of these pictures now that um, I'm crafting more. Ooh. To see what is usable in my crafts. I can't wait to go back and look. Because I'm sure there's... I've probably got plenty more. You know, depending how you look at them and... beat these up. All right, I do want to get them wet. So we get some of that distressing in here. Hopefully this will go well. <laughs> I kind of want to put some oxide on my, you know, I could lightly brush some oxide ink onto some of them. Well, all of them, because we want to kind of do them the same. So let's put some, and just kind of brown them up a little bit more. Especially around those edges. And then when I get this wet, it'll oxidate. Oxidate, oxidize. You guys, what's the right word? We need grammar along with this crafting, don't we? <laughs> Oxidize, I think. It'll do its magic. Yeah. The men folk there, relaxing. Now my thought is, my thought, my thought, my thought, where's the cloth, there it is, is to just put a couple spots on here. Let it do its thing and then just dab it up. Look at that. I love it. Do you, can you see the difference? Look at how it oxidate, how it did its thing. <laughs> Which is neat, being that they're in the water, right? Can you guys see that? I hope you can see that. Let's do the next one. Just let it sit for a second. And then we'll dab it. 
very cool. Yep. Oops, there's coopers on that one. I want to miss Grandpa's face. here too. That is so neat. Now it kind of looks like they all got splashed by that water. Super cool. That was so easy and fun. All right, so I think I still want to beat them up a little bit more. Should we? Should we, should we? Oh, that one looks neat right in here. want it to lose all the color so that it's like stark white again. Should I brush on maybe that's Distress Ink. I'm curious if I put some of this um, Lost Shadow on there, if it'll add another hue to it. going to kind of lightly go over that. So I don't know. I don't know if it'll add a different... I'm assuming it will. Let's see what it does. Ah, I think I hit Grandpa's face. I forgot. Not really. Not really, it just kind of made it wetter. Let's try. Eh, kind of washed them out a little bit. I think I'm not going to do the other two. I don't think you can really tell the difference. So <clears throat> I'll leave those alone. But I'm going to go back over it a little bit. with this first brush again, just to bring back some of that color. And it's okay that they're different. I mean, they don't have to all be the same, so it's okay if some of them are a little more washed than others. I'm okay with that. So while it's wet, I'm gonna kinda go back around here and kinda fuss with this a little bit more. it make it look like it's you know been through some stuff this one's not that wet but we can still work with it beat up the paper a little it's your fingernail tool Not this, but I mean the pictures, to use the pictures. This one's dry completely. Oh yeah, I didn't do the second spray on this one. 
I guess it's not dry completely. I'll have to go over one more time with some darker around the edges. There you go, family. All right, now, <clears throat> this time I'm gonna use the dark walnut. Guys, if you do this with your photos, make sure you make copies. Don't use the real thing. I probably don't need to say that, but I don't want to see anybody ruining their originals. Because those are precious. And I love the... Um, I put these in my bathroom because of the water theme. I also have photos of me as a kid with playing in the dirt with my cousin in the mud because you know it's another water theme as well as me sitting in a in grandma's bathroom sink because you know it's a water theme <laughs> there's you know I just I, I made a water theme photo all I think it's cute all right I think that'll do that you guys this is so fun I'm so excited to have these done. So excited. I've been really, really wanting to do this. Now, I have one more thing I want to do. This ribbon that was gifted to me, I want to use this as an enclosure, but it's too white and bright. So I'm going to do something different. I am going to use my, ooh, should I use the oxide? I'm going to use the oxide because the ink will be solid. The oxide will actually do something fun. Oops, good grief. I'm dropping everything today. This is what we're gonna do. I think this will work anyway with the oxide. I'm assuming it will. Just spray that with water. And then we're doing this. We're just gonna color it up. Clean that mess up with my ribbon. Done. Just make sure that that color is nice and covered. And now it's not bright white anymore. Now it will match my theme a little bit better. Go ahead and wipe some of this water out of it. I want to go ahead and spray this. One more time, I'm gonna dry it just a bit. some of that moisture out and then see if I spray on it and let drops sit if it'll get that look like the paper does and have spots come out of it I'm kind of hoping not because I don't like it the way it is but I'm kind of hoping it'll have that <clears throat> effect and it may not <clears throat> excuse me It takes a little bit out. Not a lot. Not a lot, which is fine. Just do it all the way across since it's started on that side. I want it to look the same all the way through. Okay. We will let this dry, and now we have a distressed ribbon that we can add for the closure for the journal and it won't look brand new ish you know it'll be a little more of the same color so we'll set that aside all right let's figure out where we're going to put these pictures now that I haven't figured out we do have our signatures sewn in let's kind of look around pull out the stuff that's not actually okay attached so Oh, 
lots of blank pages still. And I'm loving, I, I, I won't have two of those the same, darn. I love this cottony paper back here. Thought it might be fun to put something in there. Let's see, are they all? Did I use all the blank ones? I kind of did, didn't I? Used a few blank um, pages from the... Oh, that's awesome. Even better. Okay. Okay. Whew, this is going to be fun. So, what we can do is use some of these again. What do we like? What do we like? What do we like? This one because there's the blue kind of comes out in there. We could put that as a that as a mat, maybe, or at least partially. Is that darling? I don't want to use the same paper on that side. So what I'm thinking. Okay, now here's the hard part, is how to incorporate them. At least that's part of it for me, because I know I want them in here. But how do I incorporate them in there that a way, that's seamless, that doesn't look like it's just forced? And that's where, that's where the challenge comes in. Okay, so I could do, I could just do a mat and do a picture every few pages. Or I could put them all together. I think it would be fun to do one every few pages, though. That would be kind of... That would be kind of fun. We could tell a story. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know how to tell that story. So let's put... Let's go ahead and just glue this one here. doesn't take, I'm going to go ahead and stress around the edges of this page. I can just imagine they probably had FOSPA for lunch. Do you guys know what FOSPA is? Fospa is a traditional meal that we would have that was kind of not really lunch, not really dinner. Usually they did Fospa like a like an early dinner on Sunday night. And it was kind of leftovers, but it usually comprised of lunch meats, cheeses, pickles, uh, stuff like that. You know, they would have a big Sunday dinner after church. And then they would serve FOSPA for, 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 you know, what we would call dinner, but it would be just an early, an early meal. And a lot of times they'd be back at church that night, so they had to hurry and have a quick meal in the evening. So they had FOSPA. Now we also had FOSPA at funerals. We had FOSPA at weddings. We had FOSPA. <laughs> All the time. At least the FOSPAs as I grew up. Now, I don't know if traditionally if that was different or different, if it's different in different areas, but that's how we did it. We called it FOSPA. And I'm sure that means something in German. I have no idea what. I have a cookbook called FOSPA. I should look at that and, and read it. I should read it. I got it because of the heritage and I haven't had a chance to read it. I think it's a cookbook, but I'm sure there's information in there that I should get myself a little more familiar with because I'm no expert. Okay. 
Now I can put him here. Oh, you know what I should have done is I should have sewn him to the paper before I before I did all that. Now I can go back and decorate. I didn't I didn't punch any out, so I'm I can't today. But I can go back and put some seashells and different um, uh, die cuts or whatever around him. And I think that's a cute idea. I think I will do that. But I don't have any cutout right now, so I'm just gonna glue him to the page and hold him there. And when I'm inspired to do so, I will be sure to do that because that will be cute. I think I'll probably also put some faux tape, faux vintage tape on here. And so if this is just a decorative page, then there'll be journeying, journaling areas over here, which I think is the best way to do that. You guys, my fish has been looking sad, and I think I think it's not warm enough in her in his tank. I think I'm gonna have to put a heater in there. I'm watching him right now as I'm waiting for this to dry. He just looks kind of sad. I think I'm gonna do that today when I change the change the bowl. He's not looking as pretty as he was when I got him, and he was all happy to be in there. He's looking kind of sad and mopey. His tail fins don't look as full and happy as they did, so I think I'm going to need to work on that a little bit. I'm a little fish, Rocky. Okay, so I have two signatures, so if I put one in the first part of the, sig of the signature, and then one in the second part, I think I'm going to put one right here. And then I'll put two in the second signature as well. So let's put a different paper. That was that one. So I'm going to just kind of mirror it. Not the whales. Let's see. Not the boats. Jellyfish and seahorse. That would be kind of cool. Let's do that one. Let's stress this one too. Not a lot I need to do to these papers. They're so beautiful already. But the distressing with the color really helps to make it pop. I don't have to put a mat behind it and thicken up my book unnecessarily. My book's going to be so thick already. And the next question is, am I going to keep this one or give this one away? I don't know. I don't know. Or sell. I guess there's three three options. Give it, sell it, keep it. I can't keep everything, right? Definitely hold on to it for a while. I need to find my guest checks. Guest checks would be great in here. Did I make that go? I did. I made that go to the, over the top of the page. Let's go all the way to the bottom. But hopefully I won't have to trim that. Or I can just... Oh yeah, no, that's good. We'll leave that alone. We'll just leave that alone. Okay, so that's gorgeous. Now which picture? Should we put the the menfolk on this one? Or should we put them playing in the water? I like this one. Yep. I mean, I like them all, but... You guys need to look and see if you have pictures too. See, this is one of those things you don't have to, you don't always have to go buy stuff, you know. You don't always have to. We can find some things around the house and this is one of those things I found around the house. Is family photos, old family photos. Nobody's gonna know who these people are. I obviously don't even really know. I mean, I know what the pic, I know what it says, but I don't know if that's right or not. And does it matter? No. They're cool pictures. That's what matters. They're cool pictures. They're super cute. Alright, now let's go back over here. And should I put... I don't think I want to put one on. Oh, that's right. That's attached. I might actually clip this on because I'm not sure I like how wiggly it is. 
I'll probably clip that on and make it a something you can open. Um, you know, though, this would be fun just on the outside of this one, wouldn't it? Just a simple, I could leave a little spot down here for journaling and put this one right up here. It doesn't need anything behind it. Let's do that. Hope you guys are doing great. Um, today is Monday, start of a new week for most. And yesterday, Sunday is the kind of the new start of the week for me, um, just because our work week starts on Sunday. So I kind of see it a little different now. And y'all, so I'll put a piece, I'll put a little block of, of paper down here or something down here so that there's some journaling spot or maybe a you know a title page or something like that would be even fun and then let's go ahead and find something closer to the back for this last one too bad that's in the middle of the page because i can't scoot that over to use that or that maybe maybe this is a the end statement what do you think about that let's do that this one here. The end. <laughs> They're resting on the beach after a long day playing. Maybe that's what it says. There's a story. I'm just imagining the food that they had, the fun that they had, the quarrels they had, because you know all families do. The ride that they had, how they got there. I'm sure somebody had a car. It would have been too far otherwise. And their clothes look modern enough that there probably was a car involved. down on this this corner that's where it is screaming it needs to be I think this is a great addition to the journal you guys this has been fun so much fun I have been waiting to do this I'm so glad I got to today get that corner down there this is gonna be amazing this is coming along so well I'm so, so pleased. We've got those pictures in there now. We've got all this fun little, fun little goodies in here. I'm just going to keep collecting and adding and, you know, I need some more die cuts for sure. And some more travel themed stuff. But this is going to be a beautiful, beautiful journal. Ooh, and let's see, what else can we do to it today? I want to put some, actually, let's put some, I was going to put some faux tape on there, huh? Let's see if I've got that right in here with my other, my other washies. I think I, oh, I just dumped my water bottle on my water cup. Dog, gone it. I forgot that was there. All right, well, I won't have to water stain those papers. Let's move that right there in the middle of the walkway where I can see it. Um... You know, I don't think I have any more of that tape. I think I remember using it. And it's certainly not right here. So, yep, and it's not right there where I usually keep it either. I thought I moved it in the drawer, but that's great. That's great news. Let's use some, um, I've got some Tim Holtz tape. We can use that. And I kind of want to put it around 
these pictures. So I want to do some uh, distressed tickets for this one because I can imagine, you know, if there was a maybe a um, boardwalk or something nearby, maybe they did something like that that day. Or I don't know. But I thought that would be a fun addition to it. be kind of cute to do a passport or an ID. You know, everybody's doing those. That's that's one of the videos I want to make too. And I was watching some different ones last night. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I just want to play with that stuff and try it. Give it a try. See what I can come up with. I'll just kind of put those on there like I taped them in. There's that last one. There we go. This will be cute too. Just tape it in there. That was easy. What else? Anything else we need to do to those? I don't think so. I was going to put them under um, acetate. I was thinking about putting them in acetate or, or a pocket or something like that, but I'm really liking how this turned out. I think that's, that's great. Um, and I'll definitely put some die cuts around them. I'm going to find a clip for this. What can I do to this page to make it beautiful and fun? I need to find that. I need to find, you know what, let's see if any of these will work in here. Oops. There's a something. I might be able to use that somehow. Let's look at these tickets, though. These were fun tickets. Is there anything? Well, it's not going to be the Budapest Hotel. Maybe they went to a movie, 3D movie. I don't think there were probably 3D movies then. That's kind of out. Grand Cinema, August. $1.50, maybe. I think I want to create, I think I want to create the tickets. Cinema. That's pretty cute too. 2017. Yeah, I think I want to create them. I think that would be better. And I want to make some labels. I do actually have some Tracy Fox labels. I have put somewhere. So I'm going to come back later on. I think I'm going to dig those out before I post this video. Dig those out. Maybe we can add some more things to it. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and shut this down and come back to you in just a bit. All right. Y'all, I'm a hot mess. So I went to find my Tracy Fox labels. And guess what? Couldn't find them. Meh, it's okay. I can go get them again. Well, I obviously have two accounts on Etsy and under different emails. <laughs> and didn't want to deal with that. So I went and just bought some more. Yep, I did. I did. I went and bought some more. Um, and then I went down the rabbit hole, so not only did I buy some more Tracy Fox labels, I found another page that was called, let's see if I can read it, I can't remember, uh, Collard, Collards and, and Cornbread. And they had these, Collards and Cornbread, they had these, uh, receipts and invoices, and I thought they were pretty cool, so I print. I bought those and printed those. I thought these would be fun to put in our beach too. Isn't that cool? So those are going to be fun to use. I think we can put some of those in here. And then I also downloaded. I had already purchased this, but I downloaded my ephemera pack from uh, Louisa Heinzel. And she made, did these beautiful photographs. I absolutely adore these. And as soon as I saw all the different ones, you guys, look how joyful they are. They're just so fun. And they're just so next door friends. I love the clowns too. My, um, my kids love clowns. And I thought I'd make something. Look at his face. These are priceless. I love the joy. Look how happy they are. And they're just so fun. 
Um, so I went and bought these right away when I saw her flipping through them. And I'm just showing you briefly some of the pictures. They're just so cute. So I went and downloaded those. And I actually got two. I printed two of each because I'm apparently going to be doing some fussy cutting soon. But I wanted to get them printed out so I had them available when I needed them. But I thought, let's stick some of these things in there too. So I want to get out my big old shears and pick out just a couple of these that will be great. And I'm thinking there was a red and blue, something that was red and blue in here. This one. This is the one I was looking at. Um, service Station. Lakeside Avenue. Let's print, let's cut this one. This could be something that they needed for, you know, the service station for their car when they're on their trip. Maybe they needed the receipt, or maybe they needed something fixed. So we'll use this one in there. Hello, love. Delivery. Delivery, thank you. Um, yeah, um, thank you. Right there. And how did it work for you? Yeah, it was really pretty. Ooh, I bet. I'm, I can't wait to try it. Chloe made some ink with some pokey berries. And I was telling her about it, so she tried it. And I want to be careful not to spill it. She put it in this jar and just shook the berries until all the juice came out. And then she took the pulp out. And we're going to use it for ink. So she's been playing with that. All right, so we've got a receipt for our book. And what are these receipts? These are purchase receipts for detach and hold cam. Claim cannot be considered a to payment traced without this receipt. We could use those two per perhaps. Let's see if there's something we like better. Credit voucher. This one is a Virginia Electric and Power Company. No. National Service Life Insurance, no. Probably not insurance. Plumbing, no. Oil company, no. Postal money order purchase receipt, maybe, perhaps. Fancy groceries, maybe. Maybe that could be for their picnic. We could use that. Let's use that. We gotta tell a story, right? And we don't have to, but it would be fun. So we'll use this one. Okay. Don't need that one. The bank now. Credits. New England Mitchell Life, that's an insurance. Credit Union, Fire, Norfolk Fire Department, Federal Credit Union. This one is insurance. Insurance. Um, that's also insurance and insurance. All right, so we'll use these two. Well, let's use this green one, too, for the, the um, postal money order. Why not? I need to print another set of these out. I was worried I was going to run out of ink as I was printing all this stuff. Which isn't an issue. I have a subscription, but... Um, <laughs> you know, when you're in the middle of a project, you don't want to run out that day and have to wait two days to get it. Or more. I don't know. I really don't know how many days. It um, triggers... It triggers for the ink to be sent before you run out, but I don't know. If you run out of it in one day, I mean, it doesn't have time to trigger, so you gotta you got to wait for it. Okay, so let's do, and I don't print that often, really. I forget. That's why I had all those um, things from Louisa to print out, because I just, I forgot to do it. And I get so wrapped up in other things. I use my, use it, if I remember, I'm actually on the computer for using it for something else, and I don't want to mess it up and slow it down, and anyway. Excuses, excuses, right? Let's just kind of lightly 
age this thing. I guess I could have used the brush, but that's okay. Just slightly. It doesn't have to be crazy. So I was actually doing that for a couple hours, so I'm filming this. It's close to noon now, and I think I was on the on here filming before. It was around 8 o'clock or so. So I've been working, doing, creating in my mind, making myself more projects, I guess. <laughs> Not helpful when I'm trying to clean, right? But it is helpful if it helps me to finish. So it, and it will. And I keep saying I want to go the direction of, you know, uh, digitals instead of buying all the packs and all the cute little ephemera all the time and supporting artists and, and their creations. So this just helps with that too. Okay, enough of this chatter. Let's 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 see where we can put these. Oh, I've got those labels too, which I'm also going to need to probably. Um, so we could actually stick. We're gonna have to fold it anyway, but this is a pocket. I could stick something in there, but maybe not. Oh, this is actually United States Postal Money Order, and I've got a stamp on here, so maybe, maybe this one does need to go in here. We can just kind of tuck this one in, maybe. Probably put something else in there as well with it, but there's a start. Maybe I'll go ahead and distress the edges of that so it's not quite so white right there when I fold it. There we go. That might be a receipt from their travels, right? Now it can be um, also can be journaled on. We could put something in here like this. We could do a flip out too with this. That would be kind of cute. Let's see if there's a pocket or something that we'd rather... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Did I make any pockets yet? I don't know if I made any pockets yet other than those. I do have this one back here. That's a floating pocket. Okay. Um, all right, well, I've got a lot of work to do, don't I? Should I put this here? Does it just get clipped in? Does it... What are we going to do with this? I feel like if it's going to be a flip out, it's going to need more paper on the back. It's going to need something stronger to hold it. So let's, um, let's do that. stock on the back it'll be stronger it'll be better it will be better now I do need blue I think we need some blue ink Gretchen do you have a bone in here and on my bed I think she's got oh here wait what's that she's got two bones that she's working on hilariously and one of them is in my craft room and one of them is she's got safely tucked in my bed Yes, she does. That way, her little nephew won't get to it. Pumice stone. We could use some pumice stone in there. That would be pretty. Some blue. Come on. I know I have more blue than that. What's this? It's a greenish blue. That would be pretty. 
and that would be pretty. Let's use a little combination of all of these. I've got different brands going on. I've got different colors going on. Here's what I'm going to do. And I just rolled my... Okay. Let's go ahead. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave a little bit of paper back here as a map. Oh, you know what I could do too? Maybe. I don't know if this will work. But it could. It could work, maybe. What if we did something like, let's, let's kind of try it out for size. Something like this. Put this on here as a hinge. It flips out and then flips up. That leaves even more space. We're going to do that. That one in there somewhere. We're going to do, oh, and you know what? I have these two things that I was going to use for cards we can use in there too. We'll just distress them a little bit and they're going to be perfect. Yep, we're going to use those two. We're going to get those off my desk. Absolutely. And this color I think works perfectly with this stationery that's in here. So I don't know that I have a paper that's the same color. This is from Stampabilities, and obviously I've not used that one before. Let's use this blue brush on here. Let's just kind of go around. I'm okay with the brown coming through. I just kind of want to give it not white. Not white color. And that ticket is going to cover this middle, so I don't have to do that either. Hi, Kashi! Say hello to your fans. takes that just takes that white away folded this a little crooked. I'm going to see if I can fix that. Good. Okay, so there's that. Let's wipe that off real quick. I'm going to clean the surface here. Maybe not organized, but definitely clean. Okay. Spill that pokey ink. Now here, so if this is going to be attached here, it's going to open this way. So I think I'd like to put something fun. I think I'm just going to put this design here. And we'll start with this color and we'll work. We'll work through it. So I'm just going to kind of layer some of this in here, not really paying attention to any particular areas. Some of these are going to overlap, is the plan. And if I don't fudge it too much, it might come through. That's going to be a little more gray than blue, it looks like. And that's, that's okay, I don't mind. I'm going to go ahead and dip in here. I've got some beautiful blues that are going to go right over these. And where that, I'm going to rub this off a little bit. If I'm doing this wrong, it's okay. 
there rules? I don't know if there's rules. I don't know. Probably. I moved it, so I gotta try to get this back where it was, sort of. There we go. Look at that color. That's beautiful. I'm just gonna kinda dab it in there. Gently, so it doesn't move too much. Okay. And then we're going in with this color. I've never used this one either. And I've had this around. This is Craft Smart Pigment Ink Pad. And I've had this sitting around here for a while. I'm not sure what to expect. If it's going to work. Oh, it is coming up. I was a little worried it might be like dried out even though it was closed. Because it's kind of old. But that's pretty. It's almost got a lavender hue to it. And I'm just going to get all the leftover white areas in there with this color and see how this turns out. So I think next, after after this video, I think the next thing I want to do is make some ID cards for this journal. Oh, look how cool that is. They really did blend really nicely. It's got a very artsy feel to it. Something bit, a bit different than what we've got going on. I'll set those over there since there's no room here. Ah, I just threw my brush. Didn't drop it, I threw it. Not intentionally. Now here's something I could do. Some of those, some of those were distress ink. I could totally get this wet, you guys, and see what it does. Should I do that? I'm scared. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And see if it adds another touch of interest. Something. Not all of them were distress inks. not really doing too much which is fine which is fine it actually kind of it did a little bit and took a little ink off my towel too <laughs> which is also fine okay I like that now this has got this on the front this on the back when they flip it open there's gonna be I've got to find that lined paper because I'm gonna put that in here it's off-white it's colored it looks like it's tea dyed but I've misplaced it and I'm gonna find that pad hopefully today because I really want to dig in and get some of this uh, cleaned up some more today now one thing I'm thinking of is that if I flip this out I think I need to cut this slightly at an angle so it doesn't tape. Why am I dropping everything today? Just at a slight angle. I think we'll make it fold easier. We're going to use this tape since we used it over here already. it up first. And we're going to just wrap this around this page. that just a 
doesn't line up exactly, so I want to cut these so that they don't stick it shut. There. Okay, so now we've got this one. It'll be a flip out. It'll go this way. Now I need to fix this, though, so that it doesn't come undone here, which is just going to take another piece of tape. I think I'm going to put some glue underneath this one just to make sure it sticks. I'm not sure how well that outside one is doing, but this will definitely help reinforce. Glue is always good when it comes to washi. Because washi is not meant to last forever. I can't say it enough. I love it. All right, and then we could put, well, I'm going to put some more, um, some more ocean themed die cuts and things in here anyway. So is that what I, oh, I've got one more. This is for the groceries. We could put, I want to put this one near these guys that are on the beach. Maybe we could just tuck this in here. Maybe this would be a good place to just tuck it. And then the recipient could use that if they wanted to, to journal or just for fun. JT, I didn't even notice that. Those are Grandpa's initials, John Thomas. JT, cute. Didn't even notice. All right, and then um, I think that's it for today, you guys. I'm going to call it. <laughs> I'm going to call it done for now. I think this is coming along swimmingly, and I'm really, really excited about the progress we've made. So I hope you guys are really enjoying this one. It's it's a lot of fun. This has been, this is, this one's a work of love for sure, and now Grandpa's in it too, so I think it's, I think it's a good time. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thanks for, for joining in for crafting with me for all your love and support and your great comments uh, i hope you guys are having a fantastic day we'll see you in the next video bye bye